Traders, how are you? With Marcello, founder of the Day Trading Academy. Today we're going to be doing the video on the best platforms to use if you want to go ahead and get started trading. So let's go ahead and get started. I have been in this industry now. I'm turning on the recorder here on my screen. The I've been in this industry now for I'm going on 23 years. I started when I was in high school. It is amazing the different the the evolution let's say of the actual trading industry when i first started especially in futures more than anything we had to pay 120 dollars a month for the platform just to be able to practice just to be able to see and play around and put orders in that was with trade station mm. that which is a platform i don't recommend by the way which if you guys want me to do a video on why i can go ahead and do that i had some situations where there were some funny things going on with the orders I was putting in with some large capital and it just kind of seemed like they were manipulating things a little bit. And now fast forward to today, we have all this technology, which is essentially free, right? We have this, I, I'm going to just go ahead and jump into it. The, the platform called TradingView, which for me is the absolute best platform in the world. It's relatively new in the trading world due to the fact that it's not, you know, 20 years old or 10 years old or, you know what I mean? So I don't know when it actually started, but the beauty behind this platform is the fact that it's completely online. And one of the things I love about it is you could be walking on your phone and just checking it on your phone. You know, you guys are probably going to see a little screenshot here of what I look at on the charts. I, I This is a, a silver miner that I normally trade a little bit more long term. But the beauty behind this is it's, it's a multi it's a multi asset platform, meaning that it connects to different brokers. You can trade everything from futures to stocks to Forex, cryptos even. I think you can do options as well. Uh, I don't believe you do binary options or synthetic indexes, which I wouldn't recommend these markets anyway, because no professional trader actually trades these markets. But it's an amazing, amazing platform. You can use it completely for free. A lot of times with the brokers that that are connected to the platform, they actually pay like a, um, a company license. And so it's if you use it with their broker, you kind of use it for free to be able to trade with as well. And they have all the bells and whistles. You know, one of the things about trading, if you're watching this video, is that trading isn't necessarily technical. It's mostly psychological. So one of the things that's great about a lot of these platforms now is that you can trade on the actual chart. So instead of putting an order on the price, you know, and I think for some of you that are a little bit younger, it's probably this is just second nature, right? Because everybody does it now. When I first started, it was a bit different. But you can actually trade on the chart and by doing that it allows you to not focus as much on the money and by not focusing as much on the money that allows you to remove or help you remove the emotions from trading and that is a is a huge thing when it comes to trading because that's what kind of takes us all down especially in the beginning how we have to learn how to manage our emotions so trading view for me is an absolutely amazing platform it's um you know you can do it on your phone i'm gonna charge the chart i'm gonna it's like saves on the cloud. So I'm going to show you the charts that I have saved, which is what I was trying to say here a second ago. And so when I'm on the go or I'm in the airport or I'm on the plane or I'm in an Uber, I can literally just completely check this out. Let me see if I can see the video. I don't know if you guys can see it there. It's, it, does, it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't view, you don't see it as very nice, but um, it's just, it's incredible. So I would highly recommend you do that. Uh, to be able to go ahead and and start your trading. Now, when it comes to other platforms, there's different asset classes, and depending on the asset class, there's some platforms that are more popular than others. For example, in Forex, MetaTrader is kind of still the de facto king when it comes to trading Forex and a lot of CFDs, for example. You can trade Forex and CFDs on TradingView, which is great. They have all the things that you need in addition to MetaTrader. I personally never use Net MetaTrader, it's not a bad platform or anything, but I just prefer the trading view because it's just it's just seamless. You know, they did a great job with it. You could use it across, you know, Windows and, and you don't have to download it for a Mac and you can use it on your phone, which is great. So that's the first one that I recommend and the and the one that I, I'm gonna advise you to look to download and play with and, and trade and everything. If you're gonna do stocks, you can do trading view with stocks. You're gonna need to connect to a broker. I personally use TD Ameritrade, which I think is great. They have a platform called Thinkorswim, which was originally designed to be for options only, but now it's basically for almost everything. TD Ameritrade's a huge broker. They just got bought out by Charles Schwab. 
And so if you're going to do if you're going to do stocks, you can still do it with TradingView, for example, you're just going to need it. You're going to need to connect it with a, a stock brokerage like TD Ameritrade. I wouldn't recommend, by the way, TD Ameritrade for things like futures, for example, because there's other discount brokerages that are a lot better than TD Ameritrade when it comes specifically to futures. All right. Same thing with Forex. So for stocks, TradingView, in addition to that, you can also use the, the trading, the Thinkorswim platform. When it comes to futures, and this is where there's a ton of different platforms and where things have kind of been revolutionized. A lot of people still use NinjaTrader. They just bought out a company called Tradevate. So they have kind of an online platform called Tradevate, which is pretty decent. And then obviously the NinjaTrader platform. The only problem I have with NinjaTrader is they want you to pay for the platform. And, and as I mentioned in the beginning, I just don't see a need to, to pay for that, right? There's no reason for it. So you can see here, it says um, no, you know, give me a second here and I'll show you on the platform. It says right here on the bottom pricing NinjaTrader is always free to use the advanced charting, back testing, and trade simulation, but where you're gonna go trade live and actually trade on the chart and, and use the things that you need, they wanna charge you for it. This is why I don't recommend NinjaTrader. The only disadvantage, for example, to TradingView, if you're specifically trading futures, is that it doesn't have what's called tick charts. I recommend futures for beginners that wanna get started trading because it's a much more regulated market and it also has a lot more transparency. The tick charts are actually a chart that shows you every individual transaction or blocks of transactions and that's what we call ticks so when you're trading in stocks or forex or any other market generally the, the the information isn't packaged that way which is the reason why you can't see tick charts in these markets right so the trading view platform doesn't have ticks but there's a slew of other platforms in the the future space which actually do have ticks there's another platform called quant tower which you can use for free it's actually provided to you by free with amp futures which is the broker i recommend for futures they're actually the largest if i'm not mistaken the largest broker that refers uh, volume over to the CME, which is the main futures exchange. So they're they're massive, even bigger than NinjaTrader, if I'm not mistaken. So that platform is amazing. It's super robust. It's it's super light on its feet. There's there's a, a few nuances in between, for example, NinjaTrader or the other platforms that I'm going to tell you here in a second. But like I mentioned to you before, all of these platforms now you can use with these what's called the funding companies. If you guys don't know what a funding company is, it's when you can go and apply for a test to be able to go ahead and access somebody else's capital. So you can trade, for example, with $25,000 or $50,000 or $100,000 with somebody else's money. One of the ones I recommend is called Take Profit Trader, which mainly does futures. They're, they're great. I, I know the owner for quite a long time now. You can use the discount code DTA30 to get a 30% discount if you guys want. But any of these platforms you can use for for uh, futures. I would recommend Quant Tower. And then after that, we kind of have this big chunk of the other platforms, which is uh, Ninja Trader. I'm going to give you a list here in a second. You have Ninja Trader, you have Multi Charts, you have Sierra Charts. Uh, there's another one in there in between this multi charts, I think I already said. So all of these platforms are mostly paid. They kind of let you use them for free to practice. And then after that, they want you to pay for them. That's why I recommend you use a platform like Quant Tower, for example, uh, Quant Tower for futures, trading view for everything else, essentially. And then uh, the Sierra Charts platform is a little bit more... You can see here on the website, it literally, it, it, it's a horrible design. It looks like it's in the 1980s. But... It's a great, great platform, Sierra Charts, multi-charts as well, uh, but they're mainly for, for the futures market. Uh, and these pretty much have all the functionality. They're really, really similar when it comes to NinjaTrader, multi-charts, and also Sierra Charts. But I would recommend Quant Tower. Uh, my internet just went out, so I, I'm not going to be able to show you the page where you can go and download it. But if you go to amfutures.com, they got a link there for a free platform. You can use TradingView in addition to quant tower there on their website so those are essentially all the platforms that you can essentially get into and, and, and trade for free if you're looking to get started I'm, I'm by the time you see this video i'm probably gonna already have the free course ready on the website which is daytradingacademy.com if you want to head over and check that out i'm going to show you how to download the platform maybe give you some tech support i'm kind of still organizing it now or reorganizing as you say because i've had it available for a while now but i'm updating it right but those are definitely the ones that i recommend trading view number one this is for stocks, Forex, 
uh, futures. If you're not using ticks, absolutely everything cryptos. And then if you're specifically doing futures, I would recommend Quant Tower mainly because it's absolutely free. You don't have to pay for it even when you go live. And then for the other ones, for example, for stocks, Thinkorswim is very good. Uh, with TD Ameritrade, you can connect that the trading view. And that's essentially all the platforms. So if you have any other platforms that you use, you can leave it there in the comments. If there's any other videos that you guys want me to do, you can leave it with hashtag AskMarcello there in the comments. I'm going to start doing these videos again. I got a little animated to do all the YouTube videos for you guys again. So let me know if you guys have any questions and we'll see you next time.